to unwind your footage, let's create another master stabilization, make a new comp. We'll call this lightning unwind, where we unwind our lightning. All right, so we have Matt lightning down here and Jason lightning down here. I'll, I also forgot in the lightning comps, we probably should take off our master stabilization. I mean, turn the, these layers off. These are like background layers. We've already like stabilized them like crazy. We can turn those off. So now we change this to add and this one to add. We've got yeah, we've got good lightning coming. Yeah, it's about the right point. But the problem is that these things are stabilized differently, so we have to now unstabilize them uh, one level up. So they're on the same uh, layer as the ma the first layer, the first master stabilization. So let's do that. Let's we got to create some nulls here. Layer new. Null object. This is going to be matte lightning unwind and duplicate it. It's going to be JSON lightning unwind. There we go. So now we're going to take this and we're going to drag it down so we can split split our view here. I'm going to drag this up and let's uh, let's restabilize here. Okay, here's how you unwind a stabilization. First thing we're going to do is with Matt's lightning. We're going to un we're going to go to Matt lightning here. We've got a Matt lightning unwind. We're going to go to the transform, anchor point, and position. When you stabilize, uh, you mess with the anchor point. You set a position, you mess with the anchor point. Uh, when we uh, unwind, we set the anchor point and mess with the position. When once we fl all we have to do is flip flop the two, and we've unstabilized our footage. So let's do that. Let's get into Matt Lightning. Master stabilization is what we messed with here. So our transform. We have position. Uh, let's take our anchor point and make it their position. So we'll hit Shift Alt, click on the stopwatch, which sets up all this script goodness. We'll take the pick whip, take our anchor point, move it to their crap. Oh, come on, go up there. Position. Position. There we go. Position. And then we take their position. Shift Alt. Hit the stopwatch pick whip to their anchor point. And we just now undid the stabilization. Now all we have to do is take Matt Lightning, pick whip it to unwind, and boom, Matt's Lightning has been unwound. Let's do the same with Jason's Lightning. So we go to Jason Lightning, go into their master stabilization, the transform, Jason Lightning unwind, Let's get their anchor. All right, let's take our anchor point, shift, alt, click on the stopwatch, pick whip it to their position, take our position, stopwatch, shift, alt, click on the stopwatch, pick whip it to their anchor point. So we just flip flop the position and anchor point, and now we just parent Matt Lightning or Jason Lightning to Jason Lightning Unwind, pick whip there. And now we have just unwound the footage. So now you see we have a semi shaky camera, but the lightning seems to follow pretty darn well. Gives it a nice realistic look, if you call shooting lightning out of your hands realistic. There we go. Looks pretty good. So the next thing we'll need to do is get all the spraying particles. Okay, let's get that particle spray going. Let's fold these two. Is this into this? That way we have more screen space. We have the unwinds. We have a stabilization. These unwinds we can click off them. They're just nulls. So, got this. Got the lightning unwind. Let's get our master stabilization again into a new comp. Notice how we keep coming from our master stabilization. That's why we have it. So let's do, let's do the particle spray. Not 
ocean spray, butt particle spray. Here we go. Master stabilization. We're going to create a new layer as soon as I click in the composition. New layer. Uh, new solid. We'll create the background because we're going to do lots of glowiness and stuff. And then create a new layer again. Layer new. Solid. This will be our particle spray. Uh, goodness, layer. All right, so we got master stabilization mode is on add, so we can see what's behind it. Let's go to layer or effect trap code particular. So far, yeah, this is good. Notice how this floats away like crazy. We don't want that at all. That's no good. What we got to do now is take our master stabilization and guess what we gotta do that's right we're stabilizing it again so we'll stabilize motion here uh, and rotation unfortunately because I say unfortunately because it takes longer and why is this so blurry hold on so not in quarters view full should not be that blurry Point one, back point two. We'll move this over to Jason's. Because before we track their points separately, now we're tracking their relation to each other. So we can get the flare in the middle. So back point one, track point two. What, what the heck is this? Oh, I must have messed this up. Oh man. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Problem solved. Now we'll just track. We click. We click to stabilize motion. Okay. And click forward. And we hit apply. Yep. Now. Yeah, it's pretty much floating right in the middle. But we need to know now with our. Let's get a lightning unwind layer here. Move it here. Set it to add. This is just a reference layer. We're not going to use this for the final comp. Oh man, you know what I did wrong? Lightning unwind. Forgot to check off this layer we're using for reference. So particle spray. We've got the lightning, which we forgot to parent. Whenever you track or stabilize something, you have to start parenting. Here we go. Lightning unwind. Parent to it. Here we go. Should probably take this to maybe a third quality. Here we go. Lightning. It hits, I'd say, somewhere here. This is actually about right. Particle spray layer. Let's have it emit from. Let's have it emit from like here. This is way too slow, so we gotta bump the particles per second like incredibly to like about 2,000. Uh, it's really slow. We need some gravity here, so let's go to physics. Gravity. Gravity. Let's take that up a bit. Not that high. Let's see. Alright. So we got so far. Ah, they're spilling out like crazy. So, change the physics model from air to bounce because it's going to stick to the floor a little bit later. Uh, these particles are way too big. Oh, their velocity too. Velocity random should be 100 because they spray like crazy. Direction should be outwards. So now, ah, uh, spraying's a little better. Okay. Direction spread. Yeah, have it all the way. Direction spread. Let's make these things smaller. Size from 5 to like, I don't know, 2.1. That way they're really small. But they're not motion blurring, so we have to go to motion blur. And we'll make it on shutter angle at, let's say, 180. That's good, but they don't seem to be moving anywhere. They don't have any life to them. So let's have a little fun here with the velocity. Velocity random, definitely. 
is why we have a bit. Yeah, it should be a little bit over more. There we go. That looks better. Next, let's go to, let's say, Jason Lightning. Copy the color and the blurs. Hit Edit, Copy, or Control-C. Go to Particle Spray. Control-V to paste. This is good, but the color should be purple, because it's like red and green, or red and blue should be purple, so make the red down a little bit, make the blue a little bit. Uh, that looks pretty good. I think it looks alright, at least so far. So now we have a nice spray, but it's not going anywhere. It's, there's no there's no floor, so let, let's add a floor here. Alright, let's add a floor here. So let's say, let's say layer, new, go to solid, floor, and we can put it here. Let's make it a 3D layer, so let's go to toggle switches and make it 3D. Transform, make the X rotation, I think it's negative 90, there we go. And we can just move it down as far as we want, like here. Then, we go to our lightning, not lightning, unwind, we don't want that. Go to particle spray goodness, yeah, and we make our physics, we go into physics, the model is bounce, let's have it bounce off the floor. Well, this makes it bounce a bit. I don't want it to bounce. I mean, that's for like the, the particle lightsaber duel. No, we want to make it stick. What the heck? Collision event, stick. So, no, oh, it's not sticking. Great. Let's get back to our floor. Fortunately, we can just move it up if it's not sticking. Oh, and also move it in the background, too. So, I don't know if this is good. Yeah, I think so. Looks about right. Let's see if it sticks like it ought to. looks pretty good. Alright, next thing we're going to do is roto mask out this mailbox because you can see how it messes with things. You see this mailbox right here. Yeah, it should be pretty easy in a stable state. 